composure. You're under pressure, Johnny. Ultimate professional, he won't find. He just simply won't find anyone more professional. His diligence to his own game, the hours he puts into his own game. Playing one of his first games for England, we lost 76 0 in Australia. A young Johnny Wilkinson. We won't blame him for the victory by any means. But no, it was, it was a pleasure to, to play with him as he was growing up. Well, he didn't bring a bad left boot with him, did he, really? He's a very special player. I mean, you know, those sorts of players um, don't come around all the time. And he made his debut here, age 19, against Australia. I remember him coming on the field on the, on the wing. Um, and he's just been a phenomenal, phenomenal player. Um, I think his greatest quality is, is possibly his attitude and his work ethic. You know, I, I mean, I, I'm quite obsessed and, and, uh, and, well, I thought I was quite obsessed anyway until, until I met Johnny. So he would put as much work into his, his uh, attacking and running game as, as his kicking game. Um, so as a, as a fellow pro and a fellow player, he did nothing but respect that and marvel at that. Um, I remember Johnny coming in as an 18-year-old just straight out of school. You know, he's very excited, he's very passionate about the game. He knew his detail and he could hit like a back rower and I think that was something that sort of stood out. He quickly gained everybody's respect just from his, his intensity at training and his, his willingness to learn. You know, to, to kick your goals and, and drop kick like he did doesn't just happen overnight. It's something that he spent 10, 15 years practicing um, day in, day out. I think, I think where Johnny and I sort of worked really, really well together is we just talked about the game as the game was unfolding. You know, we didn't have any preconceived ideas of how the game should be going. It was just, right, this is what's happening, let's change it. And, and that was the beauty about Johnny. Johnny was very adaptable and he would listen to people. You know, you know if Matt Dawson or Lawrence Lay or Jono said something, he would take it on board and we would, we would change things accordingly. So that, that ability to adapt at international level, under the scrutiny he was on with the goal kick and everything that went with it, um, you know, is a sign of a true champion, really. You know, and for him to be playing as long as he has with all the injuries and stuff is just you know, true credit to, to the bloke as an individual. There's no guarantees in life, but with Johnny's left boot, that was pretty guaranteed, that's for sure. And, and of course, um, you know, international rugby, you know, sometimes is not always a thing of beauty. You know, you have to chip away at the opposition, you have to build a score. And with someone like Johnny in the team, you know that if you play in the right areas of the field, you know, you're going to have every chance of, of, of doing exactly that. You know, he, he's always looking to, to continually improve as a player, as a person. And, um, and he's, he's been part of a fantastic team as well and, and, um, and been part of some of England's most memorable moments. Against Wales in the quarter-final, you know, I think um, Johnny got a bit of a slating after the game saying he didn't control things and all that sort of stuff. He was absolutely phenomenal. I don't know if you remember the game, I remembered quite <laughs> as if it played yesterday. But, um, you know, he's tackled, I don't, I'm not sure who it was, over the, uh, over the try line. He's knocked the ball out. And, and his work rate off the ball was just absolutely phenomenal. And incredibly fit guy. And that night in, uh, on the semi final, when on his own he scored every point against the French in the rain, not only is he, was he a kicker and someone who was able to, you know, to. to put England in the right areas of the field and put the points over under pressure but uh, you know his tackling wasn't too bad either so uh, no, one, no one ran down his channel either which as a back row forward was a great asset to have and I remember one kick in particular in the, um, uh, the first kick of extra time uh, I think it was over on the right hand side of the field 45 50 meters out and uh, absolutely nailed it so uh, yeah he'll go down in, in, uh, in history as not only one of the best England players but one of the best players to play the game. He's a giver as well the first very open about his game, be the first to help you around the field as a forward, a tight five forward. You need that. Um, but a good guy as well, dry sense of humour. Um, you know, you, you, won't, you won't find, I don't think, a better player in an English shirt ever. You know, he's the poster boy of, of rugby union, even with his tan now in the south of France. But um, no, he's, he's, he's right up there, you know, we need heroes, we need people like Johnny in, 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 the, in the game, especially in the UK, competing against other sports and, and, you know, Johnny Wilkinson's name springs to mind. Everybody knows where they were when Johnny Wilkinson kicked that drop goal and where England won that 2003 World Cup. Well, I don't think anyone's had a more significant impact, if I'm being honest. I think his, his impact on the field of, you know, uh, nine shot tests, um, winning a World Cup, you know, what he's done at the highest level, um, it's been fantastic. But his influence on, on inspiring young people to take up the game or inspiring young people to be the best they can be is probably the best legacy he can, he can leave. Um, you know, and he's, he's inspired certainly the fly halves we've got to, to take their work rate off the field and their preparation to another level. I remember listening to Sonny Bill Williams talk about him 
you know, and how awestruck he was by his level of professionalism. And if you've got world-class athletes like that who've played at the highest level in both codes, then that's probably a great uh, testament. I've yet to find anyone who's reached those heights yet in terms of time and diligence to his own game. There is only one Johnny Wilkinson in the world. There's not going to be another one like that. And, um, you know, he, he deserves absolutely everything he's, 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 he's got and achieved. Just a great professional, great sports person and a great ambassador for the game. And, uh, you know, it's going to be sadly missed when he's not here.